I honestly can't imagine someone else finding me attractive when I am 100% embarrassed to be at this weight. You could say Sonya Jones is fearless. She appeared on season 16 of the NBC show The Biggest Loser. About 88,000 people from all over the country applied to be on the show, but she was one of just 20 selected. After that, she spent months bearing her body and her emotions for millions to see. There were three finalists, myself, Toma, and Rob, and uh, I was favored to win, but I lost the title of Biggest Loser. I lost the competition. I lost $250,000 by 0.01% of my body weight, which is the closest margin of loss in Biggest Loser history. Prior to The Biggest Loser, Jones worked as an elementary school PE teacher and coach. Going on the show would help her lose 144 pounds. She admits she was a binge eater before the show and says she needed to address the emotional side of why she overate. Here's the thing. Anybody can lose weight. That's easy. Losing weight on the show was, was a piece of cake. Um, keeping it off is really, really hard. Following The Biggest Loser, her career shifted in a different direction. A hospital in central Illinois approached her about doing community outreach, which she did for three years and loved it. During that time, she also wrote a book that is currently a five-star read on Amazon. It's called 44 Lessons from a Loser navigating life through laughter, prayer, and the occasional throat punch because everybody needs to laugh, everybody needs to, uh, you know, pray. And I firmly believe that everyone, there's some people in our lives who could, you know, um, benefit from an occasional throat punch. Um, but anyway, this is stories from before, during, and after the, the show. It's it's a short read. It, it's 44 lessons. Talks about, you know, stuff, stuff from the show. At the same time, Jones was traveling the country, making guest appearances on TV shows and working the speaking circuit, hoping to motivate others. When I got home, everyone kind of wanted to, um, you know, hear my story. So I fell in love with, you know, speaking. I loved speaking to audiences of whether it was 50 or it was 5,000, I didn't care. There's a lot of power um, in standing across the room from a group full of people and telling them for the first time, you know, you're worth it. Telling them that that you can do this, you know, speaking life into those people. And and, and I, I love that. Jones was living her dream. She was meeting people and interacting daily with them through her role with the local hospital and on weekends, traveling the country and making guest appearances. But then a global pandemic would cause her to shift her focus yet again. She lost her job at the hospital due to COVID cutbacks. What I recognize is that this has really, this transition has pushed me into my passion. And my passion post show is helping people who desperately need a win in the area of health and wellness, especially weight loss. That's when she decided to go to work for herself. In late 2020, she opened her own company. So I opened my own Ideal Protein standalone clinic. Um, it's called Losing It with Sonia Jones. Right now, Jones has about 50 clients in phase one of the Ideal Protein program. What I do now is I meet with people weekly and we have a targeted Ideal Protein is a three phase weight loss protocol. So it doesn't just work to get you to your goal weight, but it also gets you to stabilize at that weight. And then it's a year long maintenance program. Each step Sonya Jones has taken since competing on The Biggest Loser in 2014, 2015 has helped her realize her true passion, which is helping others one step at a time. What I think I most want to be remembered for is that I made a difference in someone's life. I've opened this clinic and uh, changing, changing lives one pound at a time, but what is most, the coolest part, you know, we're talking about cool careers, is that when I walked onto the show, gosh, Melanie, I was broken. I hated who I was physically. And when I left that show, I walked taller and I smiled brighter. And now when I have a conversation with people, I look them in the eye and that's what I see for my clients here. You know, they walk in and there's so much guilt and so much shame attached to it. And then when they walk out, it's like, oh, I can do this.